After their duel on Cloud City, each of the Skywalkers was consumed with conflicting emotions. While Luke struggled to accept the terrible traits he might have inherited, Vader became fixated on young Skywalker and exacting revenge on those responsible for keeping him hidden. On Bespin, Vader had given Luke the opportunity to join him on the dark side. Luke's refusal cut deep as his entire life, first as Anakin and then as Vader, had been filled with a longing for acceptance, and it was years of rejection that had hardened his heart. But before him was his own child, strong in the Force, and Vader saw a lifelong ally and more than a hint of his former self. In that moment, he revealed that Obi-Wan Kenobi had hidden the truth that he was Luke's father. Playing into Luke's denial and rage, Vader continued to tempt his weakened and conflicted son, offering the boy the chance to destroy the Emperor and bring order to the galaxy, just as he had tried to do with Padme on Mustafar more than two decades ago. Vader believed his son would accept. However, Skywalker chose to throw himself into the shaft, choosing death over joining Vader. The Sith became obsessed with locating Luke, and he embarked on a journey to destroy those who had hidden his son and made him too weak to answer the call of the dark side. Taking a shuttle, a squad of death troopers, and an Imperial forensics droid, Vader returned to the sand-ridden world of Tatooine. Arriving at the charred remains of the Lars homestead, Vader was confronted by memories of his former life as Anakin Skywalker. First by the kind words of his loving mother Shmi, and then his emotional conversation with Padme after he had slaughtered the sand people who had murdered his mother. But among all the memories, Vader found nothing but pain and rage. Returning to his mother's grave for the first time, he found it virtually obliterated, either by drifting sand or human intervention. While Anakin had been excited when Padme informed him she was pregnant, he had looked forward to raising a child. But it was Owen and Beru Lars who had actually cared for Luke raising him in the same home his mother had made, the site of her final resting place. There was nothing left among the ruins of the moisture farm, so Vader returned to Coruscant, but not to his master. Destroying the sealed entrance to Padme's apartment, which had once been a secret home for he and his wife, Vader found dust-covered furniture and memories he had tried to forget of the precious moments he shared with Padme. As Vader fought back the flood of emotions and memories, the forensics droid located a scout transmitter that after some quick slicing, identified the receiver was on the jungle planet Vindaxa. Here, Vader was rendered speechless when he came face to face with Padme herself. He recognized her look of determination and commanding voice, and he demanded to know who she was. Vader was confused when she responded that she was in fact Padme Amidala. Could this woman before him be the queen he met as a boy on Naboo, the senator at the outbreak of the Clone Wars, the cherished daughter of Naboo, and his pleading wife on Mustafar? The memory of her still body lying on the Mustafar ground leapt into Vader's mind, injuries that had been caused by his own hand. Fearful that he would hurt her again, Vader released the woman, still unsure if she truly was Padme. Again demanding she tell him who she really was, she replied with the same words that Padme had said to Anakin Skywalker when she confessed her love for him on Geonosis. Closely inspecting the woman, Vader realized this was not Padme. She wore her face and spoke with her voice, but she could only be one of Padme's handmaidens from Naboo. With this revelation, the forensics droid identified her as none other than Sabe, Padme's loyal bodyguard. Knowing her true identity, Vader could now navigate the conversation to obtain the answers he needed. After Padme's death, Sabe had come to believe that someone had murdered the Senator, and she wanted revenge for both the Fallen Queen and Anakin Skywalker. She even voiced her belief that Emperor Palpatine himself had her killed. Determined to find vengeance, she joined Vader in his quest and informed him that she had broken into Padme's apartment long ago, stolen the chamber's security recordings, and hidden them on Naboo. The thought of going to Naboo is a troublesome one for Vader. Memories of his wedding day in Naboo's lake country come rushing back as he recalls his bride telling him, don't be afraid. And in that moment, Vader has to remind himself that he is not. Landing in the fields near the Varakino Lake Retreat, Vader is again assaulted by memories of the good times with his wife, and he orders his troopers to remain outside. But inside, an even more painful memory awaits, his intimate dinner with Padme. But this is suddenly interrupted by the arrival of two of Sabe's compatriots, Captains Typho and Tanra of the Royal Naboo Security Forces. Taking Vader to the location of the hidden recordings, they approached a mural commemorating the alliance Padme formed in the wake of the Trade Federation invasion. 
Padme, Boss Nass, and Palpatine were featured in the center, and on the end stood a young Anakin Skywalker, just days into his life as the Padawan of Obi-Wan Kenobi. This time refusing to let any memories surface, Vader mercilessly destroyed the mural and demanded the recordings, but what they showed him was not what he expected to see. Before him was a hologram recording from many years before, of Sabe, Tanra, Typho, and many others naming themselves as Amidalans, committed to finding whoever murdered Padme in order to kill them. And in that moment, the Amidalans sprung their trap, accusing Vader of killing not just Padme, but Anakin Skywalker as well. Fighting off their attack, Vader led them to a battlefield of his choosing, just outside the capital of Thede. Only this time, it was not just a few who attacked, but dozens of Amidalans determined to kill the monster they believed murdered their precious queen. But Vader had no time to toy with them, and he quickly cut them down before continuing to his ultimate destination, the tomb of his beloved wife. There he is met by not just Sabe, but five of Padme's handmaidens prepared for battle. Fighting her servants exposed him to deeply disturbing emotions, where confronting his son had stirred something inside him, fighting the almost identical twin of his dead wife flooded him with Anakin Skywalker's unbearable regret. And as he force choked each of them, he could not bring himself to end their lives. But he knew that what he was about to do was only for him, and he hurled the handmaidens and the droid far into the distance. Approaching the tomb, he saw a carved Japur snippet, the token he gave Padme when he was just a boy with a crush, and he relived the moment he gave it to her before doing the unthinkable, he broke into Padme's mausoleum. Standing before her final resting place, he was reminded of her beauty and the horrid acts he committed on Mustafar. The agony that had consumed him for so long abruptly faded, supplanted by an overwhelming wave of sorrow. Followed by Sabe and the forensic droid, Vader ignored them as he opened her coffin, but Vader could not bring himself to look at her decaying body. Instead, the droid scanned her remains, locating a medical implant stamped with its point of origin, which became Vader's final destination. Entering the ruins of the base on Polis Massa, Vader found the maternity ward in shambles, but the damaged databanks of a midwifery droid held a hollow vid recording of his wife's final moments. Made after his son was born, the recording revealed to Vader a weakened Padme, beckoning to Obi-Wan with her final breaths. Despite Anakin's betrayal of her and the Jedi Order, Vader heard her final words as she declared her undying belief in the goodness of Anakin Skywalker. For the first time and as long as he could remember, Vader found himself in doubt. Rather than feed the darkness, Vader allowed himself to wallow in grief. And for the first time in decades, he began to question his dedication to the Sith. From the depths of Vader's soul, Anakin Skywalker emerged, fueled by the unwavering love of a woman who, in spite of everything he had done, refused to believe he was corrupted. In the near future at Endor, Vader will deny there is any conflict within him, but this could not be farther from the truth. An internal struggle had already begun, as Anakin Skywalker started to pull him toward the light side of the Force. This was the moment Vader had to accept that Anakin Skywalker was not truly dead, and the grief he is now consumed with caused him to question why he chose the dark side in the first place. What do you think? Drop your thoughts on the beginning of Vader's journey back to the light down in the comments. For more Star Wars content, check out one of the videos on the screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.